Alright guys, so this is going to be part 3. Uh, the other thing I was also looking into uh, was these pop-up uh, hunting blinds. Um, hopefully I can get the video started here. Um, the one thing I, I really like about these is that they're camouflage. Um, like you guys saw on uh, one of my videos um, where I found the uh, the tent over where I go shoot my bow. Um, one of the other things that I was all looking into when I purchased a tent was the color. I didn't want nothing bright. I didn't want no neon green, neon yellow, red, um, anything that was going to stick out. Um, if I had to leave my camp to go uh, either uh, uh, recon the area, or scout the area for any uh, any uh, edible vegetation uh, like berries or some sort of uh, uh, greens that I can collect and eat or maybe check on my traps or maybe go uh, see if I can find some small game um, I didn't want it to stick out where somebody can be walking and be like hey look at that big yellow neon uh, thing out there let's go see what it is um, so I didn't want nothing to stick out uh, I know that I wanted um, something uh, preferably in camo um, or something dark um, now this one as you guys saw it has some uh, tent poles some of the other ones that I was looking at the, do not have them. It's just kind of like this. You just pop it up and you got an instant shelter. Uh, the biggest one I found was probably like an 8x8. Um, which, like I said, I'm looking for something for me and my dog. Uh, and maybe somebody else, an extra person. Um, the, the reason I do like these is because uh, you can pretty much uh, hunt. But again, it came down to the packaging and uh, how many moving parts it had. On this one, um, well, this one and the other ones that I was looking at, I don't know, like I said, I'm not sure how long, how many times you can fold this over and over and what would happen if one of these um, internal uh, poles would end up breaking. Because as you guys can see from here, he's going to end up folding this. And I'm not sure. It's kind of like a paperclip. If you if you bend a paperclip over and over and over, eventually it's gonna break. So that's why I was not too happy with uh, the blinds or these uh, pop-up tents. Um, I do like the camouflage pattern though, uh, or the way that they're camouflaged. Like you guys can see there, he's bending it. So like a paperclip, you bend it too many times, eventually it's gonna break. Uh, so that's it on that one. Um, let's see what else. Alright. Um, so that was out of the question. Um, the other thing I found was some of these websites. Uh, this, is, this one is tptent.com. And what I found out is that some of these prices were stupid ridiculous. Um, I mean ridiculous. Ridiculous. Like this mountain teepee tent, uh, regular is $745. Uh, they have it on sale on May 6th to May 31st for $595. Way too expensive. And if you think this is expensive, just wait till I show you one more website. Uh, you're probably going to shake your pants from watching this uh, part 3 video. So the next one's a Camel Hunter teepee tent, uh, regular is 915 bucks. Uh, outfitter TP tent and so on and so on and some of these are the accessories uh, they you know it looks like they're really nice TP tents um, but I mean for the price it's just I think you guys can see that uh, for the price it's, it, uh, to me it's a little bit too much um, so I was not too happy with it um, and it kind of discouraged me a little bit from going into a TP tent um, some of the weight though like this one uh, is 25 pounds 
Um, so it just depends what type of tent you get. Um, so this website, if you got the money and you like the products, then go for it. Um, but it's too much for, for me right now. The other one was uh, Wyoming lost and found dot com um, so anyways these are some maybe I can zoom out a little bit um, so these are some of their tents uh, a three men tent you're looking at seven hundred and ninety nine dollars five eight hundred and ninety nine and eight men pretty much a thousand bucks uh, so yeah uh, that would be the Cordura Tipi, then they got a Dy Dynema, Dynama Tipi. Uh, starting price is a thousand bucks. So now you guys know what I'm talking about. You, now you guys understand why I have to be, uh, do a lot of research on this. Uh, they have this tart Tipi. Um, it's three and a half pounds. Uh, it's a uh, 141 bucks. And I don't know if you guys can see from the picture. Um, it looks a little bit too small for me. I mean, that's maybe me and my dog and my backpack, and that's it. Um, I wanted some space where I can uh, include a, a wood stove. Um, but that's way too little for me. Um, and then that would be the way it's packaged and how, how small you can get it in you know how small it'll uh, compact into uh, but again uh, not my cup of tea so that's one of the other websites uh, if you get the money to spend an over 800 bucks go for it um, this one is seekoutside.com uh, they have some again uh, again, uh, really nice tents, but if you got the money, then go for it. Uh, this is a six person, uh, 729 bucks. Uh, it weighs six pounds, uh, three ounces. Uh, an eight person, uh, $939. Um, again, that color I like, that's more like a dark gray charcoal. This, that one I'm okay with this not so much um, and this one's almost 940 bucks if you go with a 12 footer um, 1200 bucks so again if you get the money go for it um, they're not made out of uh, tarp they're actually made out of some sort of other material um, so do your research uh, now this one uh, I'm sure most of you guys know is Kifaru. Um, so you just go to shelters, and um, they got some really like massive shelters. Uh, this one's at 24 men, 16, 12, and 8. Uh, so you can fit uh, fit 8 people, 12 people, 16 people, and 24 people. Um, a four men. I mean, literally, just a four-man teepee tent, 850 bucks. If you want to go with a six-man, 991 bucks. I mean, that's how stupid, ridiculous these prices are. Um, that's why it took me a while to find one that was the right price, the right material, um, the right color, uh, the right size. Um, so that's some of the uh, okay. that's some of the uh, shelters that I had I looked into um, some of the other ones um, I did find a few others uh, one was from China and I'm not sure what website it was but pretty much what it was it's that you type in a TP tent and it took you to this website where they had it in China, you order it, and then you got it from China. But again, if you buy stuff from China, you know the quality you're gonna get. So don't even, don't even buy anything uh, from that website. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, the other thing I found was that uh, some TP tents uh, from the UK. Uh, 
they were like medium size again, kind of like this size. Um, it was way too small, and it was like a lime green. Um, I didn't like it. Um, what else did I find? That's pretty much about it. I was in the process of kind of making my own tent. Uh, I had the uh, the the list of what I was gonna buy. I had the center pole. I had a, a thousand D Cordura nylon material. Um, I was gonna make it a some, some something like this, but it was a six sided tippy. So one, two, and then three, four, five, and six. Um, let's see. Uh, but at the end, I ended up going with the Cabela's because I liked it. Um, I like the color, uh, I like the material, um, not just that, but I also like the lining. Uh, if you guys, uh, you know, do much camping, uh, you know that anywhere you look in the ground, there's going to be a ton of insects. Uh, either be ants or the roly polies, the little things that like to roll up into a ball. Um, there's a bunch of ins uh, insects. Uh, and they can make your night uh, a living hell. Um, so I know that this maybe came with the liner and it does come with it. Um, and to be honest, it kind of made it easy uh, for me to sleep that night because uh, there were some insects. And I don't know if he has some, if I shot it on the video, I have to look at it um, uh, where there were like tiny spiders that were jumping on the tent. And I was sleeping. Uh, facing that way and there was like little tiny spiders that kind of jump on it and then you had insects that were jumping on it and you can see the shadow from the sun um, so that's something that you're gonna have to uh, put up with if you bug out or you go camping uh, a lot of inse uh, insects uh, winter not so much uh, maybe a few uh, summertime tons I mean tons and tons of insects um, what else um, so that's it. These are the type of shelters um, that you guys can go and um, research if you want. Hopefully this will help some of you. Um, hopefully this was educational. Uh, maybe this will kind of maybe guide you into going into uh, getting a TP type of shelter. Um, if you have a tarp and you do like a A-frame type of style tarp. Um, you know, that's fine and all, uh, but again, from my experience, um, there's going to be a lot of insects. And I know some of you can say, oh, you, you know, you, if you can put up with a few insects, then you'll survive. And it's, it's not that, it's that um, there's some insects that, you know, like mosquitoes, uh, they can carry uh, some diseases. And the last thing is, you know, to be eaten alive by a ton of mosquitoes at night um, and then I'd be able to sleep. Uh, the other thing is you got uh, some of the spiders to worry about um, uh, especially some of the uh, the poisonous ones. Um, I don't know if I uh, shot this on the video or not. Yeah I think I did where I was shooting my bow and I was kinda looking for one of the arrows and I saw a big ass uh, black widow. Uh, so that's the type of uh, things you're gonna come up with uh, whenever you go camping or uh, maybe bugging out type of situation. So I'll go ahead and uh, stop this. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments on the uh, Cabela's 8x8, which is the one that I have, uh, leave a comment below. Make sure you like, share. Um, and uh, I'm going to be doing a box review. I still have the box where it came with. Uh, that way I can uh, maybe show you guys the package. Um, that way you guys can kind of uh, see the size of it and what it comes with and some of the pictures and some of the spec uh, specifications. Um, so like I said, if you have any questions, leave a comment, um, like and share. Thank you for watching.